the live music capital of the world, turning down noise to good reviews. Austin city leaders have a plan underway for volume control, helping to reduce the noise coming from outdoor bars. Good evening, I'm Robert Hadlock. I'm Leslie Rohde. Complaints are going up as more people are moving into downtown Austin. So last April, a pilot program was launched at Cedar Street Courtyard on 4th Street. Now, four months later, people are already seeing and hearing some drastic results. KXA and Omar Lewis joins us live downtown to explain the changes and the challenges of this new program. Omar? Good evening, Leslie and Robert here at Cedar Street Courtyard. The live band is just warming up, but you can still tell that the music is loud and the noises are traveling far. But thanks to some new upgrades, this bar has seen an 88% reduction in noise complaints from their neighbors. It's unique because clearly we don't have a, a ceiling or a roof. Musical acts take center stage here at Cedar Street Courtyard every night, but no roof leaves plenty of room for complaints. With hard surfaces on either side, it, it creates kind of a megaphone projection situation. Sounds that travel and bounce, disturbing nearby residents of the W and other downtown condos, even neighborhoods further out. No one likes having your neighbors call the police. Between February and April of last year, there were 988 noise complaints regarding downtown bars, and that's excluding special events and music festivals. We aired this story last October after sound waves traveled over two and a half miles to this North University neighborhood. We have sound waves that hit your windows. That window rattles and reproduces the sound inside the home. Complaints that force the city to face the music by launching a pilot program for a solution. They put up a matching loan of about $30,000 with the Cedar Street Courtyard to completely redesign their sound system, adding and perfectly positioning new Bose speakers and also installing sound absorbing panels. It's a richer experience in the courtyard without it escaping out of the courtyard. After taking decibel readings, Meetings at the W. Research showed the noise levels went down and the number of complaints plummeted too. It's such a relief. Relief with results. That's actually music to the ears of those who live downtown. Anything the bars can do to muffle that sound is great. And next week, city council members will vote to approve a permanent program after the success of this pilot case study that will allow more bars in downtown to uh, apply for a loan up to $40,000 to make these types of changes. Tonight, we're live from downtown. Omar Lewis, KXAN News. Thanks, Omar. Well, now there are some added requirements for a location in order to be eligible for the music venue assistance. For starters, you have to be somewhat successful. If your venue or club has not been open for at least two years, and be able to show you've generated profits. If your particular spot hasn't been open that long, then if you can prove operating a similar business for at least four years, the city will help. After getting a third party evaluation by a sound engineer, the club will also be required to spend the loan money only on approved sound mitigating equipment. This, of course, is a big deal because of how much money the music industry generates for Austin. An economic study last year shows the music industry grossed more than $1.6 billion and generated more than $38 million in tax revenue.